Yo guys, what is up? Real American Josh here. I'm pretty sure I introduced myself in the Browns video wrong. But now I'm coming at you. Alright, I'm kind of bulk recording today. I'm probably going to record... Um, probably going to record the AFC North today, potentially, and upload all the videos today. Possibly. I, I'm not sure yet, but... I'm coming at you with the Ravens schedule. Now, the Ravens in the first round, they took uh, tight end Hayden Hurst and quarterback Lamar Jackson. And I think they may have taken someone else. I, I've done forgot. But uh, anyways, guys, let's get started. Week one, they are at home against the Buffalo Bills. And huh, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this is my bias towards uh, my bias towards the AFC East. You know, I want the AFC East teams to lose, but... Since it's at home, I got the Ravens picking up a 24-10 win. I think Joe Flacco gets off to a decent start, throwing two or three touchdowns in this game. And, you know, I, I think it said Lamar Jackson's a little fire under his butt. So, like, <laughs> all right, week two at the Bengals. I've already said it. I don't think the Bengals are going to be a very good football team this year. And, you know, I've got them winning this game, or Ravens winning this game 30 to 10. Like, I think they absolutely run over the Bengals. They're too physical for the Bengals, you know, even on the road, you know. Week three at home against the Broncos. I think, again, Joe Flacco does just enough to win this game for the Bengals or for the Ravens. I've got the Ravens winning 17 to 13. They're off to a 3 0 start, so they're looking like a decent team early on. Ah, uh, but. Week four, they go on the road to Pittsburgh, and they suffer a 27-17 to loss. And, you know, I just don't think, you know, I think Joe Flacco may, might struggle a little bit in this game. The next week, you've already saw my Browns video, so the next week, it's going to be a 27-10 to loss to the Browns on the road. Like, back-to-back -back losses for the Ravens after a 3-0 start. Maybe Joe Flacco is starting to slip a little bit, you know. Next week at the Titans, three straight road games. That's rough. All right, playing our playoff team on the road, even though it was a weak playoff team. But I mean, I'm sorry, but a 31 to 20 loss here for the Ravens. They lose three in a row after a good three and zero start. Three in a row, and the losing streak continues because they're going. They're playing at home against the Saints, but it's the Saints. The Saints are a good football team and. A 34 to 10 loss at home. They get embarrassed at home by the Saints, and that's a four straight losses after starting three and zero. And the next week they play the Panthers on the road, and I've got them losing 26 to 17. You know, I think you know Joe Flacco might he fights a little bit, he fights and fights, but in the end the Panthers pick up the win. You know, like unfortunately that's what happens. You know, and three and five for the Ravens. All right, the next week. They play at home against the Steelers, and I've got them winning by a field goal, 31-28. I think Joe Flacco picks it up a little bit because uh, <laughs> there's talk of him being benched for Lamar Jackson or Robert Griffin the third. Joe Flacco picks it up. Tight game tied at 28. Maybe it's in overtime, and, you know, Big Ben drives the Steelers down the field, but they stall. They miss a field goal. Joe Flacco leads them down. Ravens kick the game winning field goal. You know, Justin Tucker's the MVP of that team. And the Ravens win to improve to four and five. Next week, they're at home against the Bengals. That's an easy win. 31 to 14. Joe Flacco has a decent day, you know. And hey, they win. They're five they're back up to five and five. Oh, wait, what happens now? Oh, they're at home against the Raiders. Joe Flacco leads the Ravens to another win. 21 to 10. Although I think uh, that Ra Raven defense is having a lot to do with it. That Raven defense is very underrated. It's a very good defense. And, you know, hey, the Raiders can't get much done. But the next week at the Falcons, and unfortunately going to Atlanta is a tough task, that's a 28-14 to loss for the uh, Ravens. They fall to 6-6 six and six in the season. Their playoff hopes are still alive. Oh, but the next week they're going to Kansas City. And unfortunately, a 31 to 24 loss. Although Joe Flacco fights, you know Patrick Mahomes finally shows that, finally shows some of what he can do, and leads the Chiefs to the victory. The Ravens fall to six and seven. That heavily damages their playoff hopes. 
So the next week they're at home against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and you know Joe Flacco knows if we don't make the playoffs this year, you know, my job my job could be over. It could be gone. And game tied at twenty one, Joe Flacco leads them to another field uh leads them back into field goal territory. Justin Tucker wins the game twenty four to twenty one. Ravens are seven and seven, keep their playoff hopes alive. But the next week they travel to LA to play the Chargers and unfortunately the Ravens cannot get it done and they're eliminated from playoff contention. A loss to the Chargers, 24-20 loss to the Chargers. You know, Phillip Rivers leads that comeback drive and the Chargers win. So if you notice, like, there's a trend. All, the Ravens are winning and losing a lot of games, but there are a lot of close games. You know, maybe not early in the season, you know. They got whooped by the Titans. They got whooped by the Saints. They got whooped by the Browns. You know, the Steelers beat them pretty decent. Late in the season, a lot of close games, a lot of close wins and losses for the uh, Ravens. So finally, week 17, they're at home against the Browns, and they decide they want to show off Lamar Jackson to the fans a little bit, the home crowd. And, you know, it's a good way to get that stadium full, even though it's not for the playoffs. It's not a playoff team. You know, hey, why not? All right, so the Lamar Jackson leads them to a 20 to 10 victory. You know that defense helps them out a little bit. You know maybe a, a block punt, but Lamar Jackson, kind of similar to what Patrick Mahomes did last year in Week 17 for the Chiefs, he shows off what he can do and he leads them to a victory. And the Ravens will finish the season eight and eight this year. Not a bad record for the Ravens though. Not bad for the Ravens at all. So eight and eight. I've got the Ravens going eight and eight. And, you know, Lamar Jackson playing Week 17 at home against the Browns, leading them to a victory. And that kind of sets them up for next year. I think Lamar Jackson could be the next Michael Vick, except better. You know, I'd say Lamar Jackson, he's a slightly better passer than Vick was. You know, especially this year at Louisville, you know, completing 60% of those passes. With a receiving core he couldn't get on the uh, same page with until around week six or seven, you know, like, you know, watching them against Clemson, you know, it, it was awful. But I think Lamar Jackson gets the job done week 17 and shows what he can do for the Ravens next year. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Real American Josh out. Peace.